Hey guys, this is John from Trucker's Kitchen, and I'm going to be preparing today a dish that was inspired by Heather Neely over at Neely's Homestead. And um, yeah, I still get teared up knowing that what happened to that family, it just tears me up to pieces. This is going to be a two-part um, process in the same video, so y'all watch this all the way through, please, and you'll see what I'm doing. What we're going to make today is Cajun rice with shrimp. Now, I had advertised that I was going to make Cajun rice with uh, chicken, but my truck decided that it was too hot here in the Mojave Desert, or whatever desert this is, and it, and it wasn't cooling any of my meat. So what I've got here is shrimp instead of chicken. I did have pork too, and that really pissed me off, because I was going to make some smothered um, some smothered pork chops later for us all to watch. All right, that's about a pound of, uh, of, of uh, shrimp in there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there just for flavor. It, dang it, not a whole lot. Um, it's minced garlic, got it at Wally World. Yeah, truck drivers, we don't have a lot to say on where we go and buy our stuff, and Wally World has the big parking lot, so guess where I'm going. Anyway, we're going to put a half a tablespoon of minced garlic right out of the jar in there. And for added flavor, and you guys can decide whether you want to do this or not, this is an option y'all if y'all want to do it if you don't that's fine too it's all say la vie right but uh i'm gonna put some old bay seasoning up in there just a little bit i'm gonna put again a half half a teaspoon and just kind of go over all the shrimp all right, now I need to put in a little bit of water base or something in there so it will come up. Now, as you saw, that that, uh, that shrimp had some liquid in there where, where it started getting thawed out. That's why I have to do this in kind of a hurry now. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken broth. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And we'll use the chicken broth later on with our rice, too, so... That's where most of our seasoning is going to go. So let's put about a, about a half a cup in there. That's more like a cup. All right, well, that's good. And I'm sorry about the shaking of the of the camera. I'm, I'm in the truck parked in uh, Barstow, California. I haven't made out of California yet. All right, on mine, I want to go to pressure cook. And I want to take it down to zero minutes. That's zero minutes. I just want it to come up to pressure and stop. I don't want it to actually cook because if I overcook my chicken, or my, I mean my shrimp, it'll get really, really, really um, rubbery. And I don't want that. So we're going to let this come up to pressure. We're going to make sure everything's good to go. And I'll bring you back when this is done. Okay, on a little side note, these boxes, let me see if I can raise this up. These boxes right here of uh, bouillon, uh, broth is four cups. There's four cups in there, so you can make four cups out of that. So if you got use half of, a, half of that, then you're just uh, using two cups. Just a quick measurement. I thought I'd throw that in there for you. Be back. Okay, she just pressurized and it's on warm now, so we're going to unpressurize this quickly. There you go. I'll bring it back when she's done. Okay, all we're waiting for now is for this pin to drop. When this pin drops down, we'll open the top and take the shrimp out. That's step one. And she just dropped. So let's take the top off. Remember, open this away from you. That way you don't get steam cleaning all right now so y'all see that shrimp that's how quick it is we're gonna take this out now I didn't bust out the 
the expensive uh, Chinette. I'm just kidding. I use these. These are more practical for putting stuff on than throwing away when you're not going to reuse them than it is to have those nicer, thicker plastic ones. So we're going to take this all out. And we're going to leave the juice in the bottom. Because that's going to be part of our flavor. Now I've already got my Old Bay in here. And I've already got my garlic. Minced garlic in there. Alright. We're going to set this to the side for a little bit. Now for our second main ingredient. We're going to take one cup of white rice. Now you can rinse yours or whatever. I rinsed these at the house and then dehydrated it. And put it in, put it in here. All right, now we've already got about a cup worth of liquid in here. I think we're good for this part of it. But I'm gonna add in some paste piccati and it's the medium. I don't know where it says that, there it is, medium. But John, this, is, this, is, this isn't tacos, this is, you know, supposed to be Cajun and you're absolutely right. So guess what's coming up next, guys? That's right, some Cajun seasoning. Now, we're going to put in here, and this is the Cajun seasoning I use. All right, I use Tones, Cajun seasoning blend. Now, I do usually make my own, too. I didn't before I left the rope, came out here from the, from the house. So we're going to go with this shop-bought stuff. And this is pretty pretty decent all right so we're gonna put that down in there all right now that old bay has got a lot of salt in it so I'm not gonna add a whole lot of more salt until the end but we're gonna put us some cracked black pepper in here and I don't know how much I'm putting in here when it looks good it's done that's all I can tell you all right now I know there's some purists out there Mike uh, Beverly Burley I mean, I know you from Louisiana. You like your stuff done authentically. This is my version of it. So don't send me no Facebook messages saying, John, you screwed up. Because John already knows that when it comes to you. But this is my version. And this is good. And I pick on Mike. Mike. Mike's a good friend of mine. We've been friends close to when I joined Facebook, believe it or not. All right. So we're going to put the top back on. Now, I'm gonna go to cancel. I'm gonna go to rice. I'm gonna go to the adjust time. Hang on, shit. How the hell do I do this? All right, adjust time. And we're gonna to go to four, 12 minutes. So the rice will be cooking for about 12 minutes. And when that's done, I'll bring you back. All right, so the rice is done. I took it and let it and depressurized it. Took about a minute. There you go. And looky when that steam gets out of there. Looky how good that looks. How good does this look? I mean, seriously. And the smell, oh my goodness. The smell. And look, none of it burnt. None of it burnt. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my shrimp back in there. I, I took and I um took the tails off my shrimp while I was waiting for this to go, and I'm just gonna stir some of this all in. Now look at there. Mm. This is looking and smelling absolutely wonderful, y'all. Let me turn this off right quick. All right, now since the power is off, I'm gonna plate this up and we'll give it a taste test. See you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm going to give this a try. As y'all can see, it turned out really looking good. But it doesn't matter if it looks good. How does it taste? Let's give it a taste. It almost tastes like Spanish rice with shrimp added. But that Cajun kicks in and it tastes like a really good Cajun spiced up rice. Now, 
the salsa if I had to go back and do it again let me see if I can find a can what I do with that can here it is I'd leave the sauce out and I'd go with this something like this I don't know whether y'all can see that or not there it is diced tomatoes with green chilies I think this would be better than the salsa but it's still really good y'all it's still really really good if you haven't tried it you ought to try it this is what's inspired by me watching an old video from Heather Neely from the Neely homestead when she made her Spanish rice most of the ingredients are hers I just took an ad lib what I wanted to put in there but I want to thank Heather for, for doing that I also want to thank her for everything she has done through the years on her YouTube channel and if you don't know Heather is out of out of rehab she is making new videos she's making uh, videos that will actually start out with the bread making I haven't watched them I don't I, I, I can't do it I try to sit down and watch that and I tear up every time every time that lady is a strong individual and I do not know if I would have the strength to do what she did and what she's gone through and to make the comeback that she is making so everybody to keep 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 that whole family only elite family in, in, in your hearts and in your minds but like i always say be good be safe and i'll see you when i see you